So you've seen what I use out in the field. Now we're gonna take that equipment out into the field to my favorite spot where I love to test out camera setups and lenses, the Takaru pools. This is a great location, especially in the height of summer. You have dragonflies, damselflies, you've got jumping spiders, caterpillars, ants, everything you can think of. Butterflies, moths, we've got water, we've got grassland, we've got trees. It's a fantastic place for testing out stuff. To join me on this first episode of season two of Macro Adventures, where I'm going to test out my EOS R. So we found a nice black and orange bug sitting right here on the leaf. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get a nice headshot of that bug. If I can't get the headshot because of restrictions of the uh, plants, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him from there into a better position and take a picture. Once I'm done, I'll put him back where I found him. So the camera settings for this particular picture are going to be 160 for a second on my shutter. I'm going to let the flash freeze the action. ISO 100 and I'm using F14, which as we know from previous videos, works very well on the lower lens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift up this branch and then see if I can get a shot of this bug with a green background. Okay, so because I don't know what this bug is, I'm going to do some pictures to identify it. So typically I take my hero shot, which is the headshot. I'm then going to take a picture of the top of him and a picture of the side. And those pictures, they don't need to be world-class pictures. You don't, you know, you're not going to put them into an art gallery. They are simply there for you to ID the bug once you get back home. Okay, so we have found a red reval on this uh, leaf here. So what I'm going to do is, because I can't get down low to photograph him, what I'm going to do is I've plucked off the leaf and I'm allowing the leaf reval to run around on the leaf and I'm just going to photograph it like this. We're going to hold up the leaf and I'm just going to photograph him and manoeuvre him around. If you find this difficult to do, what you can do is take this leaf to a raised area somewhere and then photograph it. So we'll do that now. Unfortunately, the red reaval, he, uh, he took a bunk, didn't like it, but we found another reaval. This is a, what appears to be a green reaval. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the leaf on the rock here. I'm going to place the reaval on the leaf Exactly the same as we do in the studio. And all we're going to do is just take a picture now. And God, the guy just likes falling on my hand for some reason. Now we've finished with our model, I'm going to put him back where I found him.
and we can see a jumping spider right down here on these rocks but unfortunately I can't get my camera into to photograph him. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a specimen container, I'm just going to scoop him up then what I can do now is I can bring him now down over to here where I can photograph him a lot easier. So for me to get this uh, jumping spider, which is very skittish, uh, the jumping spider is running around all over the place. I've took my flash off the camera because it's going to slow me down way too much. And I have put my camera into high speed continuous. I'm at 1 500th of a shutter speed, f8 at ISO 800. And I'm just going to frame up the jumping spider. I'm going to press my shutter button and just hold it down and get as many burst shots as I can. Not the best image in the world, but when you have a skittish wild jumping spider, sometimes okay is the only thing you're going to be able to get. So unfortunately, that spider is very skittish. I've let him go. What I'm going to show you now is a more creative shot you can do with jumping spiders. So I have my camera set to burst mode, and I'm going to point it up to the blue sky. And I've exposed for the sky, so you have a nice blue background. Next, I'm going to get a leaf. Okay, we're going to put that in the foreground. So now we have a scene, exactly the same as we do in the studio. So now you can put your jumpy spider onto this leaf. If it's not too skittish, it won't jump off. It'll just walk around on the leaf and you can hold it up to the sky and take a bunch of pictures. And then you can get a shot just like this. If you take your macro backgrounds with you out in the field, you can set up a quicker scene that gives you more control over the background, the scene and the lighting. With this type of setup, you can get a fantastic shot like this. I always take my backgrounds with me because you never know when you might need them. When you find yourself in a situation where the background or the scene just isn't very nice to look at, like in this case here, it's always a good idea to be able to have a background card and a setup so you can change the scene around to make it look a bit better. Here are my favourite images from this macro adventure. That's it from this macro adventure. I've had a fun day out. We've got some great images with this setup. Fantastic setup, absolutely love it. We even got to photograph a jumping spider that I've never seen before, and that is fantastic. So I've got to go off now. I've got to go and ID that jumping spider. But for now, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and I will see you on the next video. Good? Okay. What else do I want to do? Okay. Can't get it because of the restrictions of the plant. Briefs you. Golly, you look knackered. You're back then. Can you stand and create a shadow on the butterfly? Yeah. They've scared off. Oh, they've scared off. Why is it when you get into position the wind starts blowing? Yeah. Hey? Black jumping spider. Man, how far did he just.
jump. <laughs> hey man, I'm calling it Spider Man. Bit more. Get stop there. No, a bit more. Bit, bit more. Bit more. Stop there. Okay, stop. Stop. Two stop. meters. Shut up. I'm going to bear my ball head. Well, where's your Lee Hall baseball cap? F*** that. Have you seen the size of my image? <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and I will see you on the next video. Beep beep beep. Beep beep beep. <laughs> That's okay. What? <laughs>